Today, we're in Forest Hills, Queens at Nuts Factory to try the Dubai Bar. As you can see from the outside, it already looks very attractive. And we're inside. They have a variety of all kinds of nuts, candies, chocolates. This place is definitely, definitely something that you got to check out. They have multiple locations. I believe there's six in New York City. This exact one is on Austin Street, right off of 71st and Continental. My people that are familiar with the area already know this spot's been here for a while. There's the Dubai bar. We'll be reviewing that in a few, but check out the candy bar. They got all kinds of goodies. If you're not looking for the traditional healthy nut snack, you can get your sweet tooth indulgence right here. They got everything you could think of. It's pretty pricey, but you already know that these places are expensive and nuts nowadays are not cheap, especially when you get these real expensive nuts like macadamia nuts. Check that out. That's some dried mango, some dried kiwi. This is the fruit section. You got, what's that? You got some other good stuff there. The machi, you got some papaya, you got some plums, all of this dehydrated fruit. So they have all of this good stuff for my people. You already know. There's the nuts. There's the seeds. They got everything. And there's some of the specials that they got there. You could also sign up for membership rewards. So even though it's expensive, the more you buy, you'll eventually save some money, maybe get some points. But we're going to head back and start this food sesh. What's going on, my people? It's Tony from Food Sesh. And we're back at it with another one. So you can see in the thumbnail, guys, I decided to try this Dubai candy bar that's been going viral for the past several months. And I said, you know what? I got to give the Food Sesh fam Tony's take to see whether it's a hit or miss. Now, I was looking online to see how I can get it. There's already a couple of places that have it. And there's even a lot of like do-it-yourself videos out there that actually show you ingredients on how to make it yourself. But I wanted to try the bar itself and I wanted to try the original one that came out in Dubai. There's some places that are making their own, but after doing a little research, I found that Nuts Factory has the original Dubai bar. Now there's about six locations in the New York City area. One that I went to was in the Forest Hill section of Queens, New York, right off of Austin Street. But before I show you guys the chocolate bar, I just wanted to show you some other stuff that they got. So I got the candied cashews right here. I got the candied walnuts and I got some dehydrated kiwi. So as you can see, they have a lot of cool stuff, but you guys are here for, for the Dubai chocolate bar. So stay Three. tuned. And here it is right here, guys. Nuts Factory. A really, really cool place. They have like pretty much any kind of nut that you can think of. They also have candy. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I showed you some of the store and got to show you some of the goodies they have. This is what you guys are here for. As you can see right there, Dubai chocolate bar. Now I'm gonna put it down. We're gonna open it. And we're gonna see what's good with this bad boy. So let's see. There it is, I opened it. Smells like some really good chocolate right there. I decided to go with the milk chocolate one. You can also get it in dark chocolate, but I'm not too much of a fan of dark chocolate. So I said, you let me go with what I like. But for my dark chocolate lovers, you can also get it in that variation also. So let's put it, let's pull it out. Wow, this thing is really heavy. Look at that. Ooh, let's get this thumbnail, you already know. Yeah, so it smells really good. Now I'm not gonna eat this whole bar right here. Basically gonna snap it in half and I'm gonna eat like two of these cubes. That should be good enough for whether I think this is a hit or miss. So let's break this bad boy. You ready guys? One, two, three. Ooh, look at that. Oh. I didn't get it down the middle like I wanted to. Look at that pistachio inside, guys. I know you're hungry now. So I'm gonna put this piece here. It is starting to melt. And we got this bad boy right here. Now let's see if we can break another piece. It is softer than what I thought it was gonna be. A lot softer. But look at that. That looks amazing. Whoa. I hope that it tastes just as good as it looks. So I'm gonna put that other piece down. I feel like this should be enough, guys. Let's get it. The Dubai chocolate bar. Big bite, cheers.
Mmm. That was amazing, guys. That pistachio in there is definitely on point. The chocolate is good. It is very soft and it starts to melt quick. So maybe you might want to put it in the fridge for a little while. But let me tell you guys, now I see why this went so viral. So I'm going to finish this piece here and then I'm going to come back with my score. Cheers. So there's the rest of it right there, guys. And let me tell you, this thing is banging. The pistachio is amazing. And then you're also getting like these crunchy bits in there, kind of like a Nestle crunch type of thing going. And the chocolate itself is top quality. And when you combine those together, you get this beauty right here. So as far as score on the Dubai chocolate bar, this is gonna get a solid 9.0 out of 10. If you like pistachio, if you like chocolate, and you like Nestle Crunch, you can't go wrong with this bad boy right here. And this is 100% a hit for me, a little on the expensive side. I believe it was around $18. There's the receipt right there. See, I got a little chocolate on it. But there's the receipt right there. But I think it's worth every penny if you wanna treat yourself. This isn't something that you buy all the time but I think that you should give it a try. And this is definitely 100% a hit for me. And my score stands at 9.0. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.